I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Sunday, April 11th, the reading is John chapter 20, verses 19 through 31. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his, hand, <clears throat> his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with, <clears throat> with you. And as the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see his hands, the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and put your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book. But they are; these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. The word of the Lord. Second Sunday of Easter. Even after Mary shared the good news that she had seen the Lord, the disciples sequestered themselves behind a locked door in fear. But the hope of the world entered that room. Peace entered the room. Abundant life entered, unlocking their door and giving them what they needed to move forward into a new beginning. What about you and me? We too are freed from the power and places of death as the hope of the world enters the room of our life. Peace enters the room. Abundant life enters the room. Christ himself comes and stands with us, giving himself as life for the world. Moving forward, we experience for ourselves the risen Jesus in the love we give each other in forgiving and being forgiven, in the kindness and compassion of listening and supporting, and in the prayers and support that help a community of faith move from mourning to rejoicing, from Good Friday to Easter Sunday. Our prayer. Comforting God, thank you for Christ, our peace, who empowers us to move forward into your new beginning. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.